I'm, I smoke so much, though. Like, I'm so thankful to be able to smoke with you right now. Cause, like, Put these in like your that. pocket. No, yeah, I appreciate it. This okay. is your shit? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I need this. Because this shit got me like. Yeah, I think I got some more for I you. I can't too. even hear shit, nigga. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> nigga named Lil. Nigga named no, Lil fuck. Skies. Let's see if Lil Skies can Damn, fly to yes, Friendly Skies. I need all this. Let me see if this little nigga can fly to got Friendly right Skies, up. nigga. You understand nigga about me? to be fried up. Yeah, come on, Lil Skies. Let's see if you can fly to Friendly Skies, nigga. You understand me? You don't hear come on my show talking about you smoke. That's what you don't do. Fuck wrong with you. I'm yeah, coming on here talking about what you do and what you shit. don't. Nigga, start smoking. Alright. Like, what does that mean? High as shit on tour. That's what he was doing. That's my fault. You know, going on stage. I love that shit, so that's what I do for my birthday. What's the worst job you've ever had? Long John Silvers. Nigga, work that long John Silvers. <laughs> when they serve fish and chill. They might be inspired by niggas that go to college. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you inside the GGN News Network. I'm your host with the most finding Nemo, a.k.a. Nemo Hoes. And today on my show, I got a very special guest, one of my nephews. Lil Skies is in the motherfucking house. What up, why? Yeah, that's good. How you doing, family? Good, how are you? Man, I'm slow motion. Slow motion, and that's better than no motion. You know what I'm talking about? I did. So where you from? I'm from um, Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. That's where I was born, but I moved to Waynesboro, Pennsylvania when I was in third grade. And I've been living there pretty much ever since, so I say I'm from Waynesboro. Pennsylvania, what's the uh, big sports team connected to? I mean, pretty much Pennsylvania, it's got to be like Pittsburgh. It's got to be like the Steelers. Say that. Yeah. I, I was just trying to get that about you. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, all. that's what it got to be, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's going to be, you know what I'm talking about? I'm yes, just sir. trying to get you to say it before I say it, you know, because it's still a nation. Yes, sir. <laughs> Everywhere we go. Yes, sir. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. When you be making your music, what's the vibe like when you creating? What's the vibe like? Um, I don't even, it's crazy because a lot of my music still be created in my bedroom. Like me sitting on my bed. So That's I don't the dopest even, shit in the world. I don't even That's a vibe. Big, I know, yeah. I don't even be in big studios and shit, to be honest. Like, even the song I did with Wiz, I recorded that sitting on my bed. But that's, that's, a, that's your vibe. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't know. It's just my... I guess that's where I get... I'm more... I'm most comfortable. Like, I can still go to big studios. I can do everything. It's just that's where I like to create it. I guess just being in my room or like at the crib. So so you would say when you get your motherfucking big ass house, you gonna put your studio in your house? I have to. I'm getting that shit done right now, though. My one I got right Off the now. top, right? Yeah, I have to. That's just normal. Because you can just wake up and get to it when you yeah, want I'm to. Yeah, I'm about to move my engineer in with me and everything. That's smart. I got to. I did the same shit when I got my house. I built a little back house for that nigga. Nigga, you stay here. Yep. <laughs> it may be Facts. three in the morning. It may be three in the morning. I need to get your ass <laughs> get up, nigga. I got a vibe up. right now I'm trying to catch. You know what I'm saying? That's the best shit, though. That's no, it is. Shit. It is. It's personal and it's up close and it's yours. It's like you don't have to ask nobody nothing. Mm -hmm. You turn the lights on and off when you want to. Yes, sir. So what were some of the early influences that made you want to make music? Early influences would be like my life, um, my pops, my dad did music. So I was just like, when I did see him and shit, that's what we did. Like we'd be going to the studio or some shit like that. So he was one of the real big ones that was like, made me wanna um, do music. Once I got into it, it was just, I wanted to be me though. I was trying to find myself. You, wow, you didn't wanna like be that. what nobody yeah, else was. Yeah, I wanted to be what nobody else was. I wanted to take my own lane. And he seen that as I was getting older. And eventually I just branched off when I was like 15, we got in this argument. But he always said like one day, this shit would happen where you gonna come to me, you gonna be like, you know what pops, it's time I gotta do it my way. And that's just what it was. I told him I gotta do it my way. And he was like, all right, if you wanna do it your way, then go ahead, like, I ain't gonna help you. And that's what it was. He ain't like, he fell that's back. That's called tough love. He fell back, yep, and he gave me that tough love, but it was what was needed. Look and what you became. I know, no, it's a blood. It's, it's crazy, like, the story. So how did he feel about your career now? He like, he can't, like, he's like, every time, it's just something, it's huge as fuck to him. Like, he can't. He see me and it's like, every, that's my boy, like, damn. A like, proud father. He did it, yeah, yeah, he's very proud. You did it for him proud. too? Yeah, I did it for him, my mom. It's really for my family, like, this is who I do it for. It's my family. That's gangster shit right there. Yes, sir. Because, see, people don't understand that 
like and when you raised in music and you have somebody because my whole family tried to make music before me mm -hmm. and they got to a certain level where they couldn't really like get it to the next level so when i made it i made it for them mm -hmm. so it's like that's what you are you the representation of the family that probably couldn't get to the next level, but you all the way there now. Yes, sir. So you holding all their aspirations and, and dreams. It's like now I open up doors yeah. for a lot of my family. That's what I'm very thankful for. It's like I'm opening up doors, and as time goes on, it's like I get to place people in more positions and yeah. stuff like that as it goes on. So I'm really, I really take note to everything. Like I be paying attention, and even in my business, like staying in tune with that, making sure that I'm good and all that, making sure that these people ain't fucking me over and none right. of that, because you know how this shit go. See, the, the best advice I can give you is to always be in the room. Yes, like, they'll tell you, we're going to have this meeting. We're going to tell you how it go. Fuck that. You ain't having no meetings without me. Without me. I exactly. need to be in every fucking room, every meeting. Then once I feel like I have enough information, then I'll leave the room and let y'all talk. Mm -hmm. But it ain't going to never be no, hold on. Right. This right. is what they want to give you. Mm -hmm. No, fuck that. I want them to tell me what they want to give me. Right. Not you, because you probably chipped off a few numbers. Yep. You get what I'm saying? Yep. So you want to always be in that room. You always want to be the discussion, because you are the discussion. Yes, sir. Know that That's part. Right. And they'll try to squeeze you out in the beginning. Oh, you don't need to be. Just think about the music. Be creative. No, nah, fuck that. It's called show it's business. It's crazy, because they, they, yeah. No, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank it's real. You. It ain't no yeah. knock on your people. It's just it's what it is. It's like, that's what the industry treat teaches us to do this bullshit, mm -hmm. to keep the small man out so he could just stay creative and you just worry about that. No, nigga, you gotta worry about that too. Right. Because at the end of the day, that's your money and your shit and you paying everybody. You keep that man that's talking for you, guess what? He worked for you. Yeah. I had you to right, learn the hard right. way that my manager worked for me. I, and at the beginning, I thought I worked for my manager until I got to the point, I'm like, hold on, you don't eat until I eat. And right. you only getting this amount. So basically, let me, let me manage. Yeah. Let me manage me. <laughs> let me manage right. me better. You'll get there. Right now, you don't need all that. You need good people around you. Yes, sir. Keep you dope. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? The, the people that you got around you that's dope. They got you doing your shit. Keep them around you. Any young rappers out there that you fucking with that you like? Yeah, I got a couple of them. I really mess with everybody. Honestly, I got a lot of people that. I really catch inspiration from everybody, everything, even life. I feel like life is my biggest inspiration towards everything. I just, I learn a lot from other people's mistakes before mm. I make them too. But at the same time, I'm still, you know, making my little mistakes here and there, but wow. I'm still learning and growing and everything. You got a vibe like, like my oldest son, like Wiz and like young Snoop Dogg. Like you got a vibe like that, like you more concerned with others than yourself. Is that is that true? Yeah. What's your sign? I'm a Leo. Leo the Lion. Yes, sir. So you got a birthday coming up? August, like August 4th. Mm. What you be doing for your birthday? You be having wild parties? No, I be having, like my last birthday I had a show. A concert? Yeah, yeah, I had a show. It was like 40,000 people. It was lit. Um, did they sing happy birthday? Yeah, they actually did. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did. My DJ made them sing and shit. How you feel? You feel like kind of shy or some bashful shit like these motherfuckers singing happy birthday? I, I was just like, all right, you know, I don't know. I was ready. I, I, when I get in that show mode, I be, man, I, I love performing. So you a it was like my fun. Yeah, I went to, yeah, yeah, definitely. Like you see, I'm chill right now, but we could go after this. And I walk on stage, and you watch the show, you be like, damn, what the fuck? Like I didn't know this nigga was doing all that. He flipping and jumping and shit. Yeah, I like to get lit. I have fun. That's my fun, you know, going on stage and shit. I love that shit. So that's what I did for my birthday. I took a private jet for the first time. Some for little, real? Some little shit. Yeah, it was cool. And I'm like, all right. Shit, I, I do was it working all the time. though. I, I know you just, I already know. I don't know what regular flights look like, man. <laughs> Sitting next to some motherfucker eating tater chips, I don't know. Yeah. Fuck is this nigga? <laughs> nigga farting yeah. and shit sitting next to me, looking all in my phone. Yeah, I swear. Fuck is this? Man, please, I don't know that feeling no more. I couldn't take it. So who do you say that your style resembles in an old school way? Not even hip hop just like music in general? 
music in general. Yeah, who does your style resemble? Mm -hmm. Style, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I, got, I don't think I got one. I think you do. You do. You ever heard of Smokey Robinson? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look him up. You got a lot of him in you. You think so? The way you talk, the way you move, the way you. The tone, this, this nigga, what? Will somebody, <laughs> will somebody tell this, will somebody tell this young nigga yeah. that his, his mom and daddy probably made him off of Smokey and probably was made off of Smokey? Would y'all run the game down to hold him? Up, hold up, hold up, hold up. He light skin, right? Yes, sir. Yes, I, I was just, um, he was, in a, he was on the, um, what, what was they just had? What was they just had? The Grammys or something? Uh -huh. Was he on that? Was it that? Yes, yes. I, I just seen him. I was in Dose and Gabbana. And he walked out. He was like, how you doing, fellas? You know, he's smooth. See, he see. walked out the store. He seen the girl. He was like, hey, man. I was like, yo, he's smooth as and shit. And this motherfucker he, about 80 years old. For real? Yes. Damn. You, you couldn't tell. Yes, I couldn't that's what tell. I'm trying to tell you, nigga. You cut <laughs> yo, with some smoky, funny. nigga. That you is funny. Me? That's crazy. And when you hear that's his music... Crazy. You're gonna be like, oh, he made this kind of music. This music is like, mm. You're gonna sample some of his shit. Now that I'm yeah, putting you up on it, trust yeah, me. You're gonna really go sample in. some of his I shit. I really tune in. Just let the music take your mind. Just release it, you will find. I know, I know your that. grandfather, grandfather father, used somebody to always played the play shit that. out of this. My grandfather used to always play that. Man, please, if you don't redo that motherfucker and put a twist on that thing. That's hard. Nobody done that yet, huh? No. Okay. Be the first. Yeah. Yeah. And you can save a little uh, four bar for me to talk on that. I, I don't you. even want to rap. I just want to say a little something. <laughs> you can say a few words, some cool shit. <laughs> yeah, that's that shit right there, boy. That's what your spirit feel like on some real shit. That's hard. Man, you got an RIAA award? I think so. What's that? Yeah, that's when them uh, when they give you those for all of the, your writing and shit. Yeah, cause see, you got Life of a Dark Rose is gold, Red Rose is platinum, Nowadays platinum, Lust platinum, Creeping platinum. I know you gold, and some of them probably rising now. Damn, well, I, didn't, you, I didn't even know all that. The Recording Industry Association of America. Mm. Boy, we both got that. You did that. You got it too. Shit. <laughs> no, but I'm saying though, you 20. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah, I'm 20. Uh, boy, I didn't get my first one until I was like 21, and then another nigga stole it from me because he said he wrote it, but he didn't write it. Oh damn. Yeah, it's um, neither here nor there. We accept those losses in life. <laughs> you gotta take the bitter with the sweet. It's all right. spilled milk. Right. We make cereal out of it. Mm -hmm. You believe that? Mmm. What's the favorite place for you to uh, perform at? As long as the crowd big, I was, I love it. As long as the crowd like is, as long as say big, it's lit. Like, cause I've gave the same energy ever since I had five people in my show. So, I as long as the crowd is, I don't really got no. So there's no difference energy. between five and five thousand. Yeah, no, it's really not. No difference it's the energy. For me. It's the energy that they bring. Cause you can still have a lot of people, and that should be weak. Boy, you know I, mean? I didn't seen it. Yeah. I didn't say niggas too. go to the snack bar and nigga, was a, y'all want something? I'm gonna go get something from the snack bar. Y'all want something? <laughs> nah, he performing right now. I'll be nah, right back. <laughs> that shit is real. <laughs> go and blaze up one of them things. That's what I put that together for you. I'm gonna be looking at it. Go and put some fire on into that motherfucker, man. Go ahead. You went to college? Yeah, I went to college for like. Damn, I'd be inspired by niggas that go to college. Nigga, don't be inspired by me. <laughs> <laughs> even if you did, I'll tell you that even now, if you nigga. did one day, nigga, all right, one yeah, day shit. is enough. <laughs> if you went to class, nigga, I'm inspired. I went shit. I went for a month. That's amazing. Month. Yeah, I went for like a month, and then I stayed there for like two weeks without going to classes. Oh, shit. just chilling. But why? Why? Um, I went. So that's what happened. I went to Shippensburg, um, University. It's like in Pennsylvania. It's like. Mom, how far is it? Like, I think it's like 30 minutes from me, some shit like that. And then, um, shit, so I went there and shit, and then 
what happened, Fetty Wap ended up coming to the school, and I was doing music. I've been doing music since I was four. When he so, was hot? Yeah, when he was hot, hot. He just, he was coming to Smoking the school. Smoking hot. Yeah, when he was just came out, you feel me? Like, so this nigga, he was coming to the school to do um the, the dance. He was performing at the, some shit, he was just performing. I was like, they came to me though, they came to me, and it was like, the school came to me, and it was like, we want you to open for him. I'm like, all right, cool, so I did that shit. And then, man, I was just surprised. Like, when I went out, they was just lit as shit. Like, they was really turnt for me. I was like, okay. Wow. I at was a like, Fetty show, they was performed. They was turned up for oh, you Oh, yeah, now they was, show? like, turned, like, you wow. know, I, the way I performed was, like, they was a little bit more turned up for me. Yeah, because like you him. know what the fuck, But yeah. at the same time, like, he was, Fetty shit was lit, though. Like, this one, he was, they knew all the words every word. <laughs> yeah, so when I came out, they was like, yo, like, and it was, I was lit. And then after that, since the next day, like, I'm going to, Classes and shit, like the teachers see me, everybody see me and shit, they starting to like, Look they know me. Yeah, and shit, and then I was just on some shit though. I was thinking, I was like, you know what, this is, God told me, man, this is what I came to college for. Mm -hmm. Now I'm done, like, I don't wanna, cause I wasn't, I, it was crazy, cause my whole life, like, I did school for my mom and shit, cause my other brothers and shit, they used to get in trouble a lot, and I was like, shit, I just felt like I always had to be the one to like do some shit. But the real reason wasn't for me. So I went and I was like, shit, I told my mom, I was like, mom, I can't even like focus. I gotta do this music shit. By that time, I already had tats on my face and shit, so. Well, what did your mom say when, when you told her that? Was she heartbroken or did she believe in your dream? My mom always, she know when I do something, I do it. Like, she just know, and she know I always done music. So it's just like something she knew is like, I can't really tell him nothing. That's it. She was like, I can't. I love my son, and this I got to accept him for what it is, cause he just, this is what he does. Like music, ever since he was little, like this, all he's ever done is all he's ever really cared about. So you made good grades, bad habits. Yeah, yeah, I made that. And that was basically inspired by that, right? Yeah, I was like a yeah, based off like it was like a school type thing. I had, Damn, good I had, grades, I had, had bad like habits. fucking skits to like Kevin Hart in it. I had good habits and bad grades. <laughs> 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 no, my shit was, I still had some bad habits and shit, too. My first mixtape was Lil Skies, um, something. I, mean, I had, like, two mixtapes when I was, like, 11. Those were my first two mixtapes. Oh, you was just like, fuck it, I'm finna drop something. Yeah, yeah. I was selling my shits in school, though, that <laughs> ass. Like, I went and print, I bought, like, 50 CDs, and my dad bought them for me, and then I went and sold them at school for, like, a dollar. And I made money. I made, like, $50. I made all my money. But see, that's, that's and the And I paid hustle. like $20 for the CDs. That's the that was nice. So you made a $30 profit? Yeah. You had Bought to start some somewhere. CDs. Yeah, re-up. <laughs> that's called uh, re-up. Yeah. Spending all my to. money on this re-up. Yeah. we up. Yeah, spending all this money on my re-up. Mm -hmm. That's how we do it. Yeah, mm -hmm. we don't spend the money. We spend it right back on the re-up. Mm. What's up with you and Landon Cube? Y'all still buddies? Yeah, yeah, that's my, um, that's like one of my best friends and shit. Um, we did that song. Red Roses, which like blew me up, got me known and shit, and then the song Nowadays, which was like right after the Red Roses. I see, I love shit like that. That's how me and Wiz became friends. Yeah, it's just, man, that's, like, that's how me and Wiz, shit. like me and Wiz, that's how me and Wiz on tour. Hey, y'all motherfuckers like brothers, man. I'm looking yeah, at you, hot. talking to you like this motherfucker, the light skinned version of Wiz. You know, the same sphere. You niggas got the same nah, loving time and Wiz, sphere. Wiz, high. Wiz had me high as shit on tour. That's what he will him, do. That's like, one little motherfucker truck. Man, that motherfucker had really me do that look, shit. You let me tell you, I'm an old ass man. That nigga had me hurt. Like, me and your mother probably the same age. Now, let me tell you. This nigga had my old ass out there. <laughs> doing dabs, right? So he, you know, when he challenged me, I can't be no punk. So I'm like, well, nigga, That's give me how one. I felt with him. Like, so I, I do one, right? So yeah. he say, if you a real G, you do two. So no, now every night I'm looking shit. for him. Like, nigga, give me two of them. As soon as I get on stage, I gotta spit about a hundred dollars worth of shit out of my chest. Like, nigga, what is this shit we doing, man? This shit is fucking me up. Inside just leaving. Fucks you up, man. man. Your whole insides leave when you get it out. That shit is serious. So yeah. you went on that motherfucking. Blaze, the days and blaze, days and blaze tour. tour. Yeah, I seen the commercial. The commercial was sick with what motherfuckers. Yeah, we was high as shit. I ain't even like. We was fried. <laughs> Niggas was fried up. We was just like they was giving a script. Niggas was not following nothing. <laughs> Niggas was all. Niggas just doing whatever. That shit was fun. It was fun. Would you say that's one of the funnest tours you've been on? Yeah, that shit was fun as shit. It was definitely one of the highest tours too. I'm gonna put you in the Smoke Olympics then. That's what it sound like. <laughs> He gonna be my little ringer, man. man. And coming in off the bench, no one's looking. It's Little Sky smoking 17 blunts in 35 minutes as the ringer yes, in sir. the Smoke Olympics. <laughs>
You ever been to Smoke Olympics? No. What is that? That's when it's like a, a track meet, just nonstop. We don't, you don't get to drink no water. You don't get to make no phone calls. Oh, you don't get shit. to check your Instagram. I mean, I can do that. Damn, though, no, that's hard. Yeah, like, but the room is that's... like real small. You don't get. You just gotta just. It's Damn, just rotation. So really like... It's a marathon. Yeah, I Imagine like a hundred blunts with five people and those hundred blunts. I'm just smoke tie, like pass out. Look like, I'm a smoke tie. Go <laughs> well, when you pass out, now. ain't nobody gonna help you because we're gonna be trying to pass out with you. I know. Because <laughs> you made it home first. We like, hold on, he beat us home. <laughs> Catch up. <laughs> yes, sir. Is it anybody that you really want to smoke with that you never smoke with? Because my, my dream was to smoke with Cheech and Chong and Willie Nelson, and I, I fucking yeah. did it. Mine was the ways in you. For real? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's heavy. Yeah, nah, that shit crazy. I smoked with Willie Nelson. That motherfucker made me quit. <laughs> For real? Fuck yes. We was playing dominoes and shit. The nigga had a, a vapor, <laughs> this a joint, nigga. blunt. Nigga. He said he made me quit. That nigga made me put his time out. Nigga, I was like, you don't want to go get nothing to eat? Mm. When niggas started asking about food, you know it's over. Y'all ain't hungry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nigga said, nah, we smoke. I'm tired of smoking. Not you, dog. You ain't say shit. Yeah, I did say it. <laughs> Hand me that white flag. <laughs> it be's like that sometimes. The best of the best. Stay inside, 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 stay inside. No clue of wanting to be rappers, now wanting to be rappers. A lot. It's a lot of people. Um, everybody's rapping back home now, back home and everywhere. But it's not something I trip over. I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that people are at least is inspired by something and they want to do something because where I come from, it's not like we don't really have shit to do. So I feel like it is easy to get in trouble. It's not a bad place, but it's not much for kids to do. You feel me? So if that's what they want to do, like that's what I chose to do. You making them feel like mm -hmm. we can make it. Sky's made it. Mm -hmm. You know, he chose to go this route. So. I just want my my message. I just want people to be inspired to like literally do whatever their dream is. Like, whatever. I don't, I don't care like what it is. It doesn't have to be music. I want you to see what I'm doing and be like, damn, you know, he's fighting for something. He's working so hard for something. He's doing this. He's really da da da. Okay. You take that, you don't have to become a rapper, but you nah. could take that and take do the whatever you want to do. Take yeah. the spirit of it yeah. all. Mm -hmm. We don't never want to brag or we don't never look at our accolades, but when somebody like me who's been in it for a long time, I understand what influence means. And whether you know it or not, you influenced a whole community of people that probably had no dream of even thinking about being yeah. rappers that no, that's crazy. are making it now. They, they trying to impress their mamas no, and I, do the I, right I, thing. Honestly, I take that shit into consideration though. Like, I honestly do think about that because I understand it's different. Like, I got kids really wanting to be me and grow up, and like, yes. they, they really are following me. Like, they, they love, depend they on love you. me for me. I got fans coming to my shows. They're not coming to see me. And you got about 100 million kids that's you, they daddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. That just come with the game. Yeah, like, you nah. didn't father them, but. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. You know, because yeah. that's. You, 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 they depend on you. They depend on yeah. you to give them. What you've been giving them. Mm -hmm. Like, you probably saved more lives than you could even imagine. It's crazy. My fans, I have a lot of these situations. Like, Skies, you don't know how much like you saved my life, da da da. And most rappers, they don't know how to like deal with that shit. But see, I'm the type of rapper, I sit there and listen. That shit is it's crazy, but it touches my heart every time. Like, when I'm at my hotel and they wait outside for right, 12 hours right. and wait for me, it's like, I'm not gonna tell them no. I have to. Talk to them. I have to because I'm like, damn. That's to me, it's insane. Well, you got a like, lot of Snoop Dogg in you, boy. Yeah. I swear to God, cause they be out there waiting in my security. My I got some, I got some goons for security. They mean some. <laughs> yeah, them niggas probably might be he, scared. Yeah, he ain't signing shit. What the dog ain't signing nothing. <laughs> hold on, man. Hold on, man. It's two degrees out here. He been standing out here for twelve hours. Come here, homie. Get this picture with you. What's right. your name, dog? Matter of fact, I got tickets for you to the show. Come and join right. yourself. Right. Because it be like that. It should you know? go a long way for them, too. Like, it go a long way for me, they too. They are you, though. Yeah. They are you. Like, you got to know that part. Like, it's something in you that they see that reminds them of them. 
That's why they fucking with you. Mm -hmm. So you giving them life and hope when you give them a picture or autograph or just even the acknowledgement that you acknowledging that I fuck with you because you fuck with me. Mm -hmm. That may save somebody's life. They may be going through the worst time of their life. And you and your music and your message may be the hope to get them to see a whole nother day. Yeah. Man, I commend you for doing your thing. Your spirit is so beautiful, man. I love that. Thank you. I, I love people it. that got those kind of spirits that are like-minded, that are just, you know, you yeah. a giver. Appreciate Mama, that. you did a great job. Shout out to Pops, too. I got to give him a little bit, too. Pops was hard in the paint on his ass. Pops. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, this part of the show is called Finish the Sentence. I'm going to start it, you finish it. Mm -hmm. I always wake up. And brush my teeth. If I could work with anybody dead or alive, I'd want to work with X. If I could see anybody perform dead or alive, I'd want to see Tupac. I look for blank in a woman. What'd you say? I look for blank in a woman. Fill in uh, the blank. Um. Master Peter, the only one that said something different, huh? What did he say? That nigga said wisdom. That was hard. Wisdom, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah wisdom. Okay, use Master P answer then. No, no, no. For real. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. I'm I, trying, I gotta you. learn something from you. <laughs> no, that's gangster though. For you to have to find wisdom in a woman is amazing for your age. That's, that's dope. That's a great answer. That's a fucking amazing. If this was Family Feud, I'm pretty sure that'd be the number one answer. Yes. If I wasn't a boss, I'd be a. Uh... Nothing. Nobody. My favorite position is. Quarterback. I don't like this nigga. <laughs> I like this nigga. I'm nice with that shit. I like him. Everybody else be thinking I mean sex. A <laughs> uh, doggy style, missionary, uh, a reverse oh, cowgirl. Shit, I it was no, no, no. You said the right, you said the right. I like what you said. That was so dope. Mm. Cause that's that. Let me know where your mind is at. My name is Lil Skies, and I'm a star. And you do know that. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you've been tuned into the GGN News Network. I'm your host with the most fine, the Nemo, a.k.a. Nemo Hoes. I want to thank my guest, the one and only Lil Skies in the house, over here trying to figure out that little roach here over there trying to light. Skies, let them know where you're at, where they can reach you at, social media-wise, how they can get in contact with you, music-wise, show-wise, everything. Shit, it's, um, it's Lil Skies. You can find me everywhere on social media, Lil Skies. Chichia, we coming. I'm with my big homie Snoop. Say that, then. Game recognized game. Shout out to everybody in the Pennsylvania area. Shout out to Long John Silver. He instead me for giving my dog a job back in the days. I appreciate y'all for keeping it one thigh wide. <laughs>